guys, so today's video is another what's in my bag video. Now, I didn't have to do this video, but the reason why I did do this video is because I wanted to just show you guys my new bag, because I'm in love with my new bag. Um, and plus I haven't done many videos recently because I've been super busy, um, so I just wanted to do, do a few while I have a few spare hours before I go to work. Um, so yeah, I've just done one which I'm uploading at the moment, which will be uploaded when this one's uploaded, But I, so I don't know why I said that. But um, on my, um, the perfume that I use, so which will f have a feature in this video. Uh, so I mentioned that in my last video I'm not wearing makeup, couldn't be bothered, didn't see the point in putting makeup on for this video to then have a shower, remove my makeup, but then to put makeup back on. It just seemed completely pointless so no I am not wearing makeup and I'm quite happy with that um a lot of people I it's I will do another video about this but like a lot of people tend to have this thing of they don't feel comfortable with not wearing makeup and I can understand it sometimes well most of the time um and I am you know empathetic about it because some people do have very um, angry skin and things like that so they like to cover it up and I do understand that but I also think we ha are natural beautiful naturally beautiful um so you like a lot of a lot of women need to to embrace that um but at the same time I do understand why people why women and men wear makeup um and it's fun isn't it anyway I'm gonna stop going on about that because that's not what my video is about. Um, the other thing, I've changed my hair colour, I did mention it in my other video, it is green and, well, apple green from Directions and turquoise on the bottom. I did like a, an ombre look. Um, I just wanted to go for a different, something different. I had pink before. Um, as much as I like the pink, it I had orange in my hair beforehand, and every time it faded, I looked like um, a f um, what are they called? Uh, fruit salad. So I decided to bleach it again, um, and yeah, and dye it. Uh, if you want me to do a video on how I like, I have got a video on how I dye my hair, but about what I do whilst I'm dyeing and bleaching my hair so in other words keeping the condition because my hair is super super soft at the moment considering I have just bleached my hair um, so if you want that video comment down below or comment on my Facebook or Instagram or whatever because um, I'm happy to talk about it um, because I have a few tips and tricks to do so um, so my hair is in very very good condition. It needs a cut, but that's that's here or nor there. Um, oops. But yeah, the actual condition of my hair is incredibly good considering I do bleach. Uh, so yeah, like I said, comment. Anyway, back to the um, the subject at hand. Uh, this is my bag, my new bag. Some of you guys will have already seen it on Facebook and Instagram. I think I just put it on Instagram actually, um, which all the links should be down below if I remember to do it, because I am quite forgetful. Um, but this is my new bag. How amazing is this? So this is by Too Fast. I just love the frills and the patterns on them, like the actual patterns itself. It's got like little bit like skeleton birds inside the cage and all the, they're all different couples that and then that's the back and it's got these studs running all the way around and then I love these handles they seem really really strong which is always good because I always put a lot in my bag L stuff that I don't need you will figure this out in a minute or you will find this out so I'm not figure it out um, but yeah quite nice and sturdy um, it's made out of PU it's not leather um, I wanted this bag for a very very long time but when I saw it because this is an import 
Um, well, the company that I bought it from imported it because Too Fast is an American company. Um, <clears throat> uh, I do have a pair of their shoes as well. Unfortunately, they're slightly big for me, but I still keep them because they're amazing. Um, and they've now become quite reasonable for us to buy in the UK. Um, I was finding that, you know, if I wanted to buy anything from them, that it was going to be incredibly expensive because of import tax and stuff like that, which was a shame. But all of a sudden recently it's become really cheap, which is awesome for me. Not so much my bank account, but oh well, you'll only live once, don't you? Um, so yeah. The bag originally I found online um, a few months back was around about £60. Now, I go back through bags quite quickly because I use them so much for so, such a long period of time. I don't mix and match my bags. Um, I tend to stick with one until it's fallen apart and then I do get a new one. Um, and um, so I wasn't really willing to part with £60 um, but I eventually found this one on eBay yeah eBay eBay um, for £25 everybody £25 and some sorry um, yeah so that's the bag itself it's really really nice I'll show you the inside um, the only thing I will say about it is the zip isn't great. Um, it's very temperamental, but that could just be my bag. Um, I'm finding it quite difficult to open and close. That is what it looks like inside with all my rubbish. It's got um, a mo two mobile holders, but the mobile holders, like even like, down to the detail, has like um, a PU. Um, I know what this word is. Um, well, decoration. Um, and then it has a pocket as well. And the pocket is really nice and big. But I, I can't show you that because I've got so much stuff in this bag. So I'm going to show you what I've got in the bag first. So the first thing that I've got is a raggedy old letter. Um, first of thing is, like, it basically, I'm trying to sort out the photo on my provisional because I only need to pass my test. Um, because it's run out. Look how grumpy I am in this photo. Hee hee hee! I don't understand why you can't look happy in these photos. Like, you know, why? Why not be happy? But yeah, I look disgusted. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's like all those bits and then there's a Halifax thing went into the bank. So that's one of them. Uh, the second thing, I guess I'll show you my new purse. I bought this in the sale in Super... No, in Super Show. In New Look. £7. It's a pug! Um, I like this because I like big purses. I like to have... I don't like dinky little things that I'm, I'm, I'm bound to break. I like to have big purses so I can fit everything in. So I have... Sure, my address isn't on there. So they have these, all of these. Um, so I've got my all my cards. Most of them I can't use because I'm trying to pay them off, um, and there's no money in there. Um, then obviously my provisional, which has run out. Well, the photo has. Um, and then you've got that section where I keep my change. There's a section for my money and then I have my little key rings £7 for this wallet is pretty damn good um, so I have my Mario Mario I have my Yoshi do you say Yoshi or Yoshi? I don't know some people say it different uh, like everybody says it different sometimes they say Yoshi sometimes they say Yoshi is that moving? yep yeah. And a Hello Kitty one. Yes, I'm 29. And yes, I have them on my purse. And yes, I will always have them. Well, not always, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so 
The next thing I show you is that I have two phones. Yeah, yeah, I'm a drug dealer. No, I'm not. I'm really, really not. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, I'm not. I'm against it. Yeah. Um, so I have two phones. One, the reason why I have two phones is because one of them, um, I cracked the screen on the phone, and um, so my friend, my 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 boyfriend's friend went. To, um, he his sister. Oh god, his he was supposed to do it, but his sister just fixed it. Unfortunately, she knocked the wire in it, um, the aerial, and that doesn't work. So and he hasn't got around to fixing it, and it's been like this for months. But he will eventually. Um, he's just very, very busy. Uh, so yeah, so this, the internet on this isn't working unless I, I literally have to sit next to a Wi-Fi hub for it to work. So my other half, being the very kind and generous man, man that he is, he gave me his old phone, which I can get Wi-Fi on because they, I like to keep you guys updated and, and post pictures and stuff like that. So that's why I have this, um, so that I can do that. Um, yeah. So, for instance, something on Twitter, and Ashley underscore Sitak liked your photo. So, so yeah, I am pretty, like, that's why I have two phones. It's not because I'm a rich bitch and I like to, you know, have two phones. I would prefer to just have one. Um, right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is my glasses. They tend to stick with me a lot during the summer. Um, I hate, I've got hay fever and in the summer I do suffer with it quite bad. Well, I wouldn't say quite badly. A lot of people suffer with it a lot worse than I do. But um, it is a pain and especially when I put so much effort into my makeup and then it starts to run because my eyes are running because of the hay fever. So I put glasses on and it tends to help with that a little bit. Um, so these are my glasses. Can you see a theme? I'm a big fan of green at the moment. Um, so these ones are by Chocolat, which is a skating company. I got these from my boyfriend, well bought them from him, my boyfriend's shop because he owns a skate shop because he's a skateboarder, obviously. Um, so yeah, so this is what they look like on. They're very, I, I think I posted a picture of these on, on Instagram actually. I really love these because I don't get headaches with them because they're um, proper sunglasses. They're not like cheap glass, glasses that I bought in the past just because they look cool. Um, these are protecting my eyes. I think they're U, UVA protect, they've got UVA protection. Um, yields. So, I love these glasses, and when I've got my hair down with having the green in my hair, it looks pretty rad. So, uh, yeah, so those are my glasses. Uh, what next? I have a bottle of 9 to 5 in there that I bought from work the other day. Um, if you don't know what 9 to 5 is, it's a cleanser, uh, but it's also a wicked makeup remover, and it is vegan. We also have Ultra Bland. Um, but that isn't vegan, that's vegetarian. Uh, but that is also a really good makeup remover if you are vegetarian. But this is 9 to 5. Literally, all you have to do is put it between two cotton pads, squish it like an Oreo, like that, and then just remove your makeup. And it removes it really, really well. It smells really nice as well. Um, it's very light, the smell. So, yeah, that's been taking residence in my bag for the last couple of days. Um, as has this. This I bought, literally, I don't know how long ago, like, um, probably about three, no, four days, no, three days ago, three days ago, and it's a dragon egg bath bomb, and I bought it for my niece, but then I found out my niece has still got one, so I was like, well... I'll just buy her another one when she finishes it, and I'll use it instead. Um, I did give her other things. It wasn't just, like, me taking this because I like it so much. But, yeah, anyway. So, I brought it home, but I didn't because I haven't been home for the last couple of days because I've been out and about. 
So it's been sitting in my bag and it's been making my bag smell amazing. So to the point where I am considering getting maybe a smaller bath bomb or something from Lush and just leaving it in my bag because literally my bag smells amazing because of this. So every time I open my bag, it smells like a dragon's egg. So yeah. Mm. Um, so I have that in my bag. I probably will have to take that out today because it's getting a bit crushed. Um, in that pocket I have you can phone this branch um, Halifax card because I need to speak to them I'm going to put that back in um, I'll show you this this is my dead girl um, compact mirror I got this for Christmas off my um, other half's parents they're not my my um, uh, what are they called? Father-in-law and mother-in-law yet. Yeah, just yet. Um, and then you've got the Creepsville 666 logo at the back. There's the website. Uh, I love this. I, I like it because it's got an, amp uh, an amplifier. It's got a, um, well, yeah, I guess, a mirror. So it makes everything bigger. And then it's got the normal one as well. Not great when you've got no makeup on and you're just like, oh. My skin, my skin. Which is a lot better actually since I've been using Lush stuff. Um, it did suffer. Like I get redness here, as you can probably see. And I've been using anything with rose in it is really good for that. But anyway, I uh, again go off track. I have a little pot of lemony flutter from Lush. Uh, like a tester potter. A potter? Potter. A uh, tester hot and I write putting this on if my hands get really um, dry throughout the day um, and it's just really handy to keep in um, but I will be buying some of the um, charity pot pots because they are perfect they're like um, these pots this is honey trap this isn't vegan obviously because it has got um, honey in it um, I think lemony flutter isn't vegan either and um, they're both vegetarian because I think lemony flutter has got honey in it, but please double check because I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, the um, charity pot that I really want to get like a few pots of, they're, they're this size and they're so moisturising. Um, so I really want to put buy a few of them so I can put them in my handbag. Um, and they are vegan, uh, charity pot is vegan. I've probably told you about this before, but all the money except for VAT goes to our grassroots charities. Um, which we're re representing one of them today actually um, Surfers Against Sewage so definitely definitely check the um, the website out for information about the charity part if you do like to help out charities you're basically buying something and getting something um, for donating um, we don't take a penny from, from it because we like to give back so and it's very very it's doing incredibly well I think it's it's raised millions of, of, of pounds for charity um, and it's not just um, well it's things like um, uh, animal rights human rights and um, uh, the environment um, we also have a slush fund which basically helps um, communities grow um, grow ingredients and then we buy those ingredients off them so they become self um, productive uh, you know like that saying you give a man a fish he'll eat for a day you give a man a, a uh, whatever and, he, and he'll eat for a year whatever like that kind of saying and that's kind of what the mentality is is that we will help them um, and give them the capital to start up and then they then thrive from that so so yeah, it's really important. It is a very important part, that, and I don't think any other company is actually doing anything similar. Um, so definitely check that out. If you like giving back to charity, it's incredibly moisturising as well. But hey, I'm going off on a tangent again. It's just because I love charity pot. Anyway, so this one is called Honey Trap. Now, a few, few about a week ago, I had really, really sore lips. Um, Tends to be an indication that I'm going to be ill, but luckily it wasn't. I think it was because I ate um, salt and vinegar crisps and um, 
they didn't agree with me and my mouth really suffered from it. I think it, they, it, the, the, the vinegar just was too much and it dried my lips out. Um, so I spoke to my manager and she was like, you should try one of our lip, um, lip tints. This isn't really a lip tint, this is more of a lip balm. Um, and this one is white chocolate balm for vanilla honey kisses. And I think there's a theme, I do like vanilla. And it just, oh, it smells, it smells like, oh, what are they called? Um, not humbugs. Uh, da, 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 da. You know those like creamy looking sweets that you get and they're clear packaging and then they've got the green like bits on the end. Oh, what are they called? They smell exactly, it smells exactly like that. Oh, that's why I like it. No, oh, it's amazing. But it's so moisturising for my for my lips. The next day I saw a massive improvement. To be to be honest, it stopped like fixed my lips the next day. So big fan of that. Um then I have all my perfumes. I tend to keep all my perfumes in my bag. I don't know why. But yeah, so all my perfumes. Depends of how ba how busy my bag is. If it's busy, then I probably won't. Um, have a hair clip. Because you always need a hair clip. Um, it tends to be a lot of time there's a bobble in there as well. But unfortunately there isn't. Um, then I normally keep my makeup bag, I don't tend, to, I'm trying to cut this down because I don't need all this um, but sometimes like if I'm going um, going out or I am um, staying over at my other half then I tend to take that with me just in case just wanted to say and I will do a review on this uh, my foundation that I'm using at the moment is light pink from Lush and dark pink from Lush. Love them. But I've also been I got the this and the both of these are vegan. Let me just double check. I'm almost positive they are. Yeah, vegan, vegan. So they're both vegan. I think all the line is vegan actually. I'm almost positive that it is vegan. Um but yeah, I've got the Go Gosh, I think it's Gosh. Foundation Primer Classic. Now I know this one is veg uh, vegan because it's on their vegan list um, and this one's the classic um, uh, primer and it's 30ml. I reason I bought this was because it was 7 99 normally it's about £12-£13 and I didn't really want to spend that much but I can understand why it is because it's beautiful. My makeup goes on amazing, these go on amazing with this. So. Um, so I just wanted to tell you about that. Uh, right, for some reason this isn't in my makeup bag, but anyway. Um, we have um, Independent back at Lush, which is the black eyeliner. This is really, really nice. It goes on beautifully. I love the applicator because I can do the flick and I get really close to my um, um, eyelash line. It's a nice consistency. It dries really quick as well. Uh, it has wheatgrass in it, um, and what else? Is there something else that's in there? There's aloe vera in there, and there's jojoba oil. Oh, there isn't wheatgrass in there. Sorry, I the I know there's wheatgrass in the foundation, but I thought there was wheatgrass in here. Hmm. Curiouser and curious, curiouser. This is strange. It doesn't say if it's vegan either. But I'm sure it is. Anyway, been using this. Ta -da -da. Really good. 
Let's go to my makeup bag now. And last but no means least is my uh, earphones. I take my earphones everywhere with me because I go through earphones like I go through hot dinners because I use them so much. I can't go on a bus ride, which I have to take every day uh, without them. Um, walking around the streets. That sounds really wrong. Walking around that around the streets. No. Um, you know, when I'm just walking around, I like to have my music. So, yeah. So that is it. 25 minute video on what is in my bag. I don't know if it was entertaining for you. It may have been. But look at that bag. Just let's appreciate the beauty, excuse me, of this, this bag. Because it's just so pretty. So it is, um, I would say this was vegan because I don't see any gluing, I just see embroidery. So, like, I don't see any anywhere that this would be glued. It is all, ha like, stitched. Nothing stuck on as such with glue, which obviously may not be vegan or vegetarian because it could be um, horse. So, um, so, yeah, that's the bag. And it's for you, it's not leather. Yay! So that's it. I'm going to put everything back in my bag now. You probably don't want to see me doing that. So, um, I think that's going to be it for the videos today. So, I hope you enjoyed the two videos. And um, I hope you all guys have an awesome weekend. And I shall probably speak to you later. Remember, if you want a video about the hairdo or the colour and how I do it and how I keep the... Um, the hair looking healthy and conditioned and moisturised, please leave a comment on any of my social networking. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, have a great week. Goodbye for now.